What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jax. The power has been out for the last 12 hours or so on my little vacation here, um, but it just got turned back on, so we're gonna go over our friend Bitcoin. We have fallen out of our pattern. We're having a little bit of throwback. We're testing it, we're back testing it as resistance, so we're gonna get into that, guys. So we're sitting at 32,490. We're down about 2% on the day. We're sitting at a market cap of 609 billion, and the 24-hour volume is 22 billion. Hey, guys, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest crypto app. Incredible benefits. They just partnered with the UFC through my referral in the comments. So we're gonna go straight into the four-hour chart. So we had our descending triangle, guys, and I said if we break this level of support, you can go short. Now, I have entered a short position. However, you can see here, we're coming back to retest this level of resistance, previous level of support. And it's been a major level of support, 32.505 support right here, support here, support in this area, support right here. These wicks came down to that area as well. So that was a major level of support and may act as a major level of resistance. Now I have set my step stop loss here at about 33,000. I'll drop in a line right around where I set my stop loss just to help you guys as new traders. Um, so if the, we do see a throwback here, then my stop loss will kick in and I will mitigate my losses, which is very, very important just in case there's a throwback. But if we continue to hit resistance here, if you see a start to hit resistance, 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 there's no increase in bullish volume. That's when you see that rollover and the continuation of the downside. And your technical target is down here at 28K. Now I'm gonna drop in this level of support. If we do see it start to roll over at 30K, which acted, these wicks came down to 30K right here, 30K as well right here. And if we look on this chart here, and we look at 30K, I'll drop in a line here. You can see there was support in this area around 30K as well. So I think that 30K level will act as a major level of support. Now, if we do see, now if we do see a throwback here where we come back into our pattern, then of course what can happen is we have a throwback and we start heading back up to this level of resistance and we see if we can break that towards the upside or if we just continue to consolidate in this pattern here. Now there are some other analysts here that are seeing more of a falling wedge. So that's a pattern to keep an eye on as well. And if you can see here with the falling wedge pattern, we have had some throwback here, but that 32505 has been a major level of support and is now acting as resistance. So that's really crucial to keep an eye on. The reason I saw the descending triangle is because I saw the three touches of support. You have support here, you have support here, and you have support here as well. Um, but of course you can make the argument, let me draw my triangle back here you can make the argument that we have a falling wedge and we've had some throwback. That's why I think it's so important right now to keep an eye on that level at 32,505. If you continue to see resistance, guys, and we roll, then it's a good sh short opportunity. We may find support here at 30K and then we have that technical target at 28K. And if we do see some throwback where we come back up into this pattern, and you wanna keep an eye on this trend line of resistance, we'd come up, find some resistance about 33.847. If we look here on the daily for Bitcoin, you can see we're continuing to hit resistance on the 20 EMA. We've been hitting it as resistance for two weeks now, guys. So right now what the chart is telling us is we're going to see continuation to the downside. We're still seeing low volume. So unless we were to see a spike in volume, and to break this resistance here at 34.531, that would give me some confirmation. Okay, we're going to see some upside here and we're gonna go try to tackle this high at about 40K. However, we haven't been able to break this trend line of resistance in our descending bullish channel here for basically two weeks now. So unless we come up, break the 20 EMA, break out of our channel, I do see that continuation to the downside here. The bears are still in control <laughs> and they're still very low volume, shady volume. So that's it for this one. Keep an eye on that previous level of support now acting as resistance, 32,505. If we continue to hit it, we will see that rollover down to 30K is our next level of support here. And if we do see that throwback, then you wanna keep an eye on that level of resistance from this descending triangle, which would be right around 33,847, all right? So quick one for Bitcoin. Hope you guys got some value. 
If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. I know I haven't been too active on Twitter um, just because I've been trying to enjoy my little vacation here. <laughs> and you can also check out the Discord, over 1,000 members, great way to support the channel. I'm also posting chart patterns in there as well. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care. Oh,